Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Kicking Bass TV. Today we're down here in Lakewood at Kendrick Lake doing a little early pre-spawn fishing, putting some of our custom baits to the test. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right guys, so with the ice starting to melt around town and spring being right around the corner, it's time to get into some early pre-spawn bass fishing. Today, we're gonna show you how we caught a number of fish all on our soft plastics that we make over at Kickin' Bass Custom Baits. We're gonna show you guys where you can place an order from for your own baits and how to enter our giveaway at the end of the video to win some prize packs. Now, starting off with the Kick and Craw, it's a 3.75 inch symmetrical design, which means you can get multiple uses out of it and it's gonna stay balanced whether you rig it top or bottom. It's got great action, whether you get super slow and finessey, you drag bottom in the cold weather season, or you wanna get those claws kicking up water and swimming it aggressively through the column. Regardless of how you like to fish it, it's something that we have with us pretty much year round because it's a super versatile bait and it produces a ton of fish for us. What I like to do most of the time is just Texas rig these with a peg bullet weight at the end. And I like to use that EWG hook because with that sort of hourglass body design of our craw, you can keep that hook exposed after you pull it through the second half and it will more or less keep itself tucked behind the body which will help you maintain that weedless presence but still give you an increased hookup ratio. And as you can see, very first cast and we already had our first bass of the day on the kick and craw. Since we're fishing at about five and a half feet of water, but that one pretty much hit it right on the drop, that's gonna tell me that even though the ice literally just melted last night, that they're already pushing up into that shallow water early, aggressive, they're looking to get up into that sunlight and they're favoring the upper portion of the water column. So that should determine how you fish this bait. On a colder day, lower water temps, more lethargic bass, that's when you're gonna to wanna to drag it on bottom, slow roll it around cover, deep water. Day like this, so they hit it right away, that should tell you that you're probably gonna have the most success fishing it subsurface or fishing it through the middle of the collar. A couple of the major benefits of using the kick and craw is that we have two different plastisol blends that we use to make these so that we can shoot a softer plastic into the claw portion of the craw, giving it that free flowing action in the water, especially in cooler temps, which can tend to stiffen up plastics, but also that we have a heavier blend shot into the body portion of the craw that makes them more durable and overall just gonna save you more money because you can catch more fish on a single bait without having to replace your craw so often. And with the symmetrical design of the bait, like we spoke of at the beginning of the video, whether you're using laminate colors and you just wanna alternate which colors on top or bottom, or you do experience some damage to your bait after catching a couple of fish, because of that design, there's really no top or bottom to the bait, has the exact same balance and action no matter what side you rig it on. So all you have to do is flip that over, rig it, and you're good to go. As you can see, we've already caught two bass on the first craw, no signs of damage to the bait itself, and we tossed it back out there, counted it down, and swam it back with that steady retrieve. And one of the reasons why we find so much success this time of year with that method of retrieval is because they're not only moving up into that shallow water to get that sunlight and that warmer temperature, but they're also gonna be feeding, trapping, corralling bait fish there to feed up for the spawn. And we noticed that this lake in particular, they tend to forage on a lot of perch. Now perch this time of year are gonna average around three to four inches in size, pretty skinny profile. They're gonna have that light and dark green, a little bit of yellow. Now the craw, it's a good craw imitation, but it's also a good profile match for those bait fish because when they're keying in on that natural color and just that skinny little profile right there, it's a good way to use that retrieval to your advantage to uh, you know sort of emulate that bait fish. Sure enough, we hooked up with number four right here and we got about six or 10 cranks on it, ended up breaking us off completely. I don't know if you can see, but when it broke off, it took off and we saw about 50 or 60 perch scatter out with it. So they've definitely got some bait fish pushed against the corner right here. So we decided to throw on another one of our custom baits, which is the chub grub. Now, same length as your popular curly tail grubs on the market, but with a little bit bigger body, a little bit thicker tail, which tends to kick more water, have a little bit more action. Now, typically what we like to fish these for is smallmouth bass, and we will use an exposed hook, a little Ned rig setup, and they absolutely slays them in the open water. But since we're fishing around cover, a lot of areas that we can get snagged up on, and we're fishing for largemouth, we're just gonna stick with that traditional Texas rig style with that little peg bullet weight. Now, we're gonna fish it the same way we were with the craw, just, you know, moderate retrieve, mid column, 
trying to emulate what they're feeding on. And since we generally don't start throwing a lot of our reaction baits this early on in the season, we're going for that feeding bite and the name of the game when it comes to that is trying to fool the fish with the most natural presentation possible. And just like with our kick and crawl, we make these with two different plastisol blends. We've got that lighter formula in the tail portion to maintain action in the water. And then we've got that heavier, more durable portion in the uh, body of the bait. And that's just gonna save you money in the long run, like we said, because you can catch a lot more fish on a single bait without having to replace them. And because of the symmetrical design of this grub body and the fact that our tail is a little bit thicker than most, it does move a lot more water. It looks really good. And it's a low maintenance bait in that it doesn't require a lot of work to catch fish on. You can basically just work that steady retrieve. And as you can see, the bass absolutely love them. So we got a quick pick of this guy and then we got him back in the water so we could try to catch at least one more fish before we called it a day. At this point, it's a little bit before 11 a.m. And typically this time of year, when you're talking early springtime and it's not warm the entire duration of the day, uh, they tend to really not come up early in the morning like they will in the summertime. So my favorite window to fish in at least for pre-spawn is that 9 to 11 a.m. because that's when the sun is really starting to have an effect on the surface of the water and coming up over the horizon bringing those fish up and making them become overall just more active but with it approaching 11 o'clock and the bite starting to slow down a little bit we slowed our retrieve on this last one as well so we're just slow rolling it a little bit closer to the bottom of the water and we ended up snagging one more decent bass before we took off so overall pretty good day uh, we ended up catching five bass total all of which were caught on either the kick and craw or our custom curly tail choke rope Not about size on that last one either, at just about three pounds. We went ahead and got him back in the water and then we headed back over to the shop to get a few custom orders shipped out. We ended up coming back out later that evening to a different body of water on another side of town. As you can see, a little bit colder on this end of town, some snow still hanging onto the shoreline there, and the water in turn is gonna be a little bit lower temps as well. So name of the game here, as opposed to how we were swimming that craw more aggressively through the column earlier when it was warmer, is we're just gonna be working it closer to the bottom, if not completely dragging it off the bottom. And right here, we just slowed it down completely. Um, we're just working it in an area where we've got after about three or four feet out from the bank a pretty significant drop off from about a foot and a half depth to about six foot of depth so that'll be an area that bass will tend to accumulate especially this time of year because they've got access to both deep and shallow water and we've got a lot of timber underwater as well so they tend to favor areas like that and essentially what we're doing is we're sort of feeling for that timber and that brush underwater and uh, whenever we come in contact with it just sort of popping that craw up over it and letting it fall down somewhere right around the edge of the perimeter of that and a lot of times it's on that little pause that stop when you let it rest that you'll get your strike and sure enough about halfway back we ended up catching number six for the day so overall pretty decent day of early pre-spawn fishing caught a handful of bass and we got to put some of our baits to the test so if you guys are looking for some quality soft plastics at an affordable price looking to support a small company made by fishermen for fishermen that are guaranteed to help you catch more fish and are available in a bunch of different custom color options head over to our facebook or instagram page shoot us a message over there let us know what you're looking to get and we will make sure you get taken care of build you a custom color that'll work great in your particular body of water once again on instagram that's kicking bass underscore or custom baits or facebook.com slash kicking bass custom baits and that's going to do it for the video today guys if you enjoyed it do me a favor hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because that's the best way to show your support and as always leave me a comment in the comment section down below and i'll get back to you guys and before we let you go if you haven't had a chance to enter our giveaway contest we'll leave a link to that video in the description you can head over there look for this video and then just follow the steps in that video to make sure you get yourself entered for free to win one of five possible prize packages so until next time guys i'm d with kicking bass tv subscribe